fresh out of work. Rico Freeman, Kansas City. No B. I'm just sitting here hoping for the best. Like these stories I be telling, I hope they playing before my death. When I was in the streets, I had my pillow over my tech. Like, I'd rather live, but I'd die for my respect. I got money out the projects. I've swisher sweets and cigarettes. Fronted money, bought them packs. Try and put them on, I guess. Looking out for people. If they needed, I supplied it. I was reaching in my pocket. Bro, I got it. Keep the profit. I was buying hella bottles in the club, me and my wife, and I ain't even hit the blunts, but I buy them for them nights. This how they replay me, couple suckers trying to earn some stripes, laughing with they bros. I bet them O's is worth that nigga's life, and a Cadillac with no chrome, and a Blackberry cell phone's a petty ass reason all you heathens run up in my home. Never sold a gram of crack, my nigga, damn. Why would I choose a hustle to left my mama in a jam, and had my siblings all split up, and we ain't know none of our fam, cause we was raised in foster homes, but all y'all suckers saw was bands, like, let me introduce myself and shake this nigga hand so I can find out his location and he'll never know who I am. I got a couple bodies, blood. I'm known off in these streets and if he don't come off everything, then I'm gonna have to make it three. I'm gonna smell all in his face and keep it cool. That's how I creep. Then I'm gonna kick in around three because I know he gotta sleep. Wifey on the couch sleep. Kids in the room sleep. Only thing was on my mind is is it them or is it me? 45 in his hand. So I had to rush the dude. So he threw a couple bullets praying that I made the news. Psh. I stayed on my feet, golden gloves versus some heat. Even if you pop me in my dome, I wouldn't die and be kids in the next room. And I'd rather die alone. I sacrificed myself so they could graduate and live on. I slammed the door, they heard the shots. Now my knees getting weak. Everybody crying, I fell to the ground and couldn't speak. Ella hugging me, screaming as my wifey spazzed. I told her, bitch, get off me. Try and make her laugh. I closed my eyes and said a prayer that if I don't survive, take me to a better place and help her find a better guy. Yeah, you had a mask on. Cops told me who you was. Wanted me to knock them off so they could take me to the judge. Told me who all set it up. Told me where to find them all. I swear to y'all, I wouldn't lie. They wanted me to take the fall. But I made a promise when I was laying in my blood that I won't retaliate and I won't go back to being a thug. Just let me live. Now I'm looking at my kids, they eyes filled with tears. Damn, my dad died like this. Check this out though. Seven days later, woke up out the coma. Good. Life support, pull out my neck, survive. Check this out though. Couple months after that, man, I wanna speak on this. Cause not long after that, this nice little girl that I knew, 16 years old, man, her name was Tink. She came to him, talked to her every day. Funny, sweet little girl, man. They ran up in her house. Did the same thing. Shot the babies. Killed her. Killed her big bro. It's like shit senseless, man. And I just really wanted to speak on that and let y'all know some real shit. So like, add, follow, subscribe. Check my YouTube channel out. Rico Freeman slash we are KC. All the above, man. And I'm going to try to start this little movement. The, the like, share, repost movement, man. Because clearly ain't no viral pages fucking with me. They didn't seen the Try Me video. They didn't seen the viralness of it. And they ain't really trying to fuck with it. So it's up to y'all, man. I would really appreciate it if y'all just, if you listening to this right now, just click share. That's it.